What's going on guys? I'm Adolid and welcome back to the Land of Cardio. Last time we left off in the Land of Pain, which I'm, yeah, I'm just joking again, because there's a lot of running in this game. We ended up going through the mines and finding out that probably the creature that we're going to be fighting through mostly in this game is going to be this big shadow monster guy. And he's pretty much just going to show it out of nowhere and if I get an idea that he's going to be around, I gotta shut my lights off. That's when I have to do it. Or my lights are going to draw him to me. Or something like that. But last time we ended up getting a key from a bloody guy. Yeah, I don't get any, I don't have any other notes or anything like that. So, I guess this episode, we're going to figure out where this key goes to. There's a couple places. Oh, because there's no reason to go back this way. So I guess I saw everything I needed to see up there. I was going to go up to the, um, the Cthulhu cage, but... I guess that's not going to be a place for me to go to now. There's a couple other places I can go to. There was a house that I remember. There was a... There's a boat, but I need stuff for the boat. So maybe I have to go to the house next in order to get to the boat. That's how I'm think, thinking, thinking things are gonna, going to go. So let's get to that house, yeah? Let's turn this off first. Alright, now we're saving. So if I die, I'm not going to go all the way back to that crazy jumping point. What if I could just, like, completely avoid this area? Because I don't know if that guy's going to be here. Fuck, he is. Wait, this is different. This is way different. hearing stuff now. What the fuck am I hearing? What's happening to me? That voice, it was possessing my mind. Possessing my mind. It's locked. There's no way to open it. So, okay, there's no way to... I'll be, I'll be, I'll, I will laugh though if, um, oh god, being stuck on a, a thing like that, if like the monster now is going to be different and it made me just be a completely a liar. All these things are lit up red. Why are y'all red all of a sudden? Oh, it's up here, I think. Hopefully I didn't go the wrong way. Oh, it's a stone wall. Can I jump up there? Nope. Because there's the boathouses down that way. Dang, I swear I saw it. it was over here, wasn't it? Oh, there it is. What the hell's going on with that sound? Lock, no way to open it. Lock, no way to open it. Okay, I think this is it. Lock, no way to open it. I opened it. Close it. Okay, hopefully in here that thing cannot get me. I mean, it's pretty a pretty linear path. It's a bucket. Am I going to use this bucket for the fuel for the thing? I don't I guess so. Alright, let's turn that off, because I have a feeling he's going to come this way. Oh, there's a light switch. What was that about? I don't know what's going on with the eerie freaking music either, though. I put the bucket under the tractor, now I need something to pierce the tank with. Okay, so we're kind of making our way there. Now i got to find something to pierce this tank with. Which makes me wonder, is there going to be something back in here, or somewhere else? Nope. Let's close that, turn the light on. Because there's a couple of things to pierce a tank with, like a chainsaw. Or a pitchfork. Oh, come on, that's like a perfect thing.
Oh, what's this then? So music's really died down. Okay, I have no idea what I'm going to use to pit, do this pitchfork thing or pierce this tank. It's got to be another place for me to go then, right? Oh man, and this place has like a thousand years of you running places too. So I have no idea where to go. That's where this crazy music in the background. Speaking of which. Oh, I keep forgetting you can't really change the music. I keep forgetting like the, 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 the volume of the songs is like always the same. Okay, so I can't go this way. There's nothing over here, at least I'm seeing, yeah, right? most pickiest guy ever of trying to find something to pierce that tank with. Alright, well I guess I gotta go looking elsewhere then. Because I know if I keep going... Okay, so if I keep going this way, I'm just gonna hit the freaking... There's no reason to come back this way. Okay, so I guess it's trying to tell me that all I need is over here. Because it's saying I have no reason to go back that way. That everything is going to be over here in this house. Or near this house. Lock, no way of opening it. Lock, no way of opening it. Oh, there's something else over here. Again, loud music. Oh, it's just a tree. Looks like another house. At least I'm liking how it's saying you don't need. It's telling you that you don't have to come back over this way. Where the hell am I going? Why do I want to be in here? Okay. This game did not strike... Okay, so there's... Huh. Interesting. I wonder if this route is going to take me somewhere different. Because it kind of looks like it curves to the right. Or as this just... That's over there, which I don't want to go back that way. It might take me somewhere, somewhere else that is going to be important. Maybe another mines... I think for now we're just gonna stick to uh, stick to being on the road, though. Okay, no, we've been here before. Cause there was this area over here that was blocked off. Bridge collapsed. We need to find another way. Places and ruins. Okay. And then there's over here. This is where I found the log, but oh, there's also a pick pickaxe. You, you're not going to use the pickaxe. It's barred. It seems been disused for a long time. The pickaxe would have been perfect. Actually, the pitchfork would have been perfect. All right, so I can't use that either. Oh, hello. Oh, for a second I thought I could go up on this. You can. That's kind of cool. Ooh, God, that scared me. Stop scaring me, whoever you are. I wonder if I'm going to die from this fall. No, you don't. The more you know. Oh, there's an object here. I found a secret. Okay, so there is secrets in this game. Aw, oh, man, that means I probably missed a crap ton of secrets. That sucks a whole lot of balls. Man. Now I just gotta find this whatever it is I need. It's telling me that I don't need to go back this way. 
but it seems like it can go I don't want to keep my light on too long either because I know that that thing is gonna follow my light tools Go crawl to the second story. All this is is just like a giant silo. Ooh. One giant creepy ass silo. So there's wood now. It's locked, there's no way to open it. But there's not other. It's a page. There you go. What the fuck is that? We were, that's what's haunting me? Because I the only thing I've seen was a giant scary... Oh, that looks like it's a perfect hiding spot. But... Yeah, that looked like a perfect hiding spot for a second there. We've unwittingly caused chaos. The coded book has proven to be our condemnation. Little did we know that it contains forbidden knowledge which only the great ancient may possess. Now it is too late. He has already unleashed his wrath upon our village. The dike has collapsed, flooding in the center of the village and damaging our roads and bridges. Luckily, the secret passage, which only we chosen ones can access, remain intact. We can once again reach the machine room and proceed with our work. We can count ourselves somewhat lucky should the machine have been destroyed it would have been a disaster, especially now that we understand its incredible function to open a connection within another world. We must discover what is on the other side before our god kills us all. Soon everything will be prepared in readiness to open the portal. All that remains to do is to construct a safety cage around the platform so as to protect the traveler from discharge of energy. So was that a so were they they did complete it and they come like brought me here? Man, but they sound really stupid. Cause they're all like, "Hey, we did it. We got our we got our god here, but he's pissed. He's gonna kill everyone now." I mean, he sent this guy to be his wrath, and now everybody's like, "Well, we're still gonna kind of do what we're doing, cause you know, why quit while you're ahead, kind of thing, you know?" Oh, hammer and chisel. Let's first look up up here for any of uh, the secrets, which I see a uh, none. Hammer and chisel. Lights going off. Actually, I kind of feel like I need my light to see a lot of things. Okay, if there's going to be any point this guy's going to come after me, it's going to be like now. Well, no, they would have offered a save point. At least, right? I managed to get some fuel, only a small amount. Save. Kind of sounds like you're peeing on wood. Anyway. I'll leave tomorrow at dawn. In the daylight, I'll have a better chance of surviving. That old cow shed seems safe enough. Oh, man. That's how you die. By waiting. I mean, I guess you shouldn't... I wouldn't want to wait here. Everybody else thought they were safe enough. Where am I sleeping at, then? Am I sleeping over here, or am I actually sleeping in the... I don't want to go back here. I guess I should leave the lights off. Yeah, I don't want to sleep here because a lot of people that have been like hidden places, they all died horrible deaths. God, this guy has never played a horror game before. Oh, do I want to leave the light on either? No, because. Ah, might as well sleep. 
The old cow sheet seems to I'll spend a night here. Rip. I'll leave the lantern here. Rip. I swear to god, there's a jump scare. I'm gonna close this. See? Exactly. That's what we're fucking talking about. What the fuck is that? This is why you don't sleep. <gasps> Someone's knocking on the door. Oh god, they took the lantern. Oh god. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh god. Am I supposed to hide? What the hell am I supposed to do? This is why you didn't go to sleep, man. I told you not to go to sleep. Don't go to sleep in a nightmare like a this place. Who's knocking on the door? No, 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 no. Leave that door open. No, hell no. Oh, why is everything in a super haze? Is that the same? By the way, oh god, there's blood. The blood is this blood is mine. What the hell happened while I was sleeping? My head is killing me. You just got infected with something. You are no longer going to survive the end of this game. There's also a box here. God, there's something. I bet you have to go up here. Fuck, this is terrifying. Where's my goddamn lantern? Oh, I want to leave. Can I... Can I break something? I don't know what I'm supposed to do. What? Where did my lantern go? Can I just go back to sleep? God, the thing probably slipped some type of, like, baby monster in you. And now there's a monster outside and he's just waiting for you. God, you're dumb. I wonder if this is going to help if I look out here. Oh, this game's freaking scary right now. So freaking scary. Oh, you can stop with that. Okay, so I have to be... It's gotta be something... I gotta be doing something, right? Lantern. Here it is. Whoever was in my room was asleep must have thrown it here. What? What's What's happening? No idea. But can we leave? Alright, we're going on the boat now. Screw everything else. Journal. Great. What's the journal say? The old cow shed. I still can't believe what I discovered. These people may have opened a connection with an other world through that mysterious machine. It's connected to the two big pylons at the center of the monoliths. And the connection is opened right there where I found myself before. I'm afraid of thinking of it, but what if the sphere I touched was the connection they talk about? Am I really in some sort of alien world? But it seems so similar to Earth. The notes I found are even in my own language. I don't understand. Something strange happened tonight while I was sleeping in the cow shed. I don't think I was alone in that room. Oh shit. So I'm definitely thinking that this guy... I don't know. The whole different worlds thing, I'd like... It could be true. I don't know. That's kind of a whole big thing. Alright. Time to get in the boat and leave. Hell yeah. Okay, guys, we're gonna end this episode here. Can I even drive this? No. Okay, we're gonna yeah, we're gonna end this episode here. Man, that was a very creepy ending to that part in the cow shed. I knew something bad was gonna happen right when he said, "Hey, I'm gonna just sleep in the cow shed." Why? Why would you? The shadow monster is everywhere. He's gonna find you, and something did find you. 
and it probably laid little baby shadow monsters inside your mouth. So, which makes it even more disgusting. Now it's like the land of disgusting. Ugh. Oh god. Anyways, I hope you all enjoy this episode, and I'll see you all next time.